Hey, for anyone who might have seen my previous video, you know we've been working together with a tech company and that provides LLM fine tuning services to create a much better solution for companies that don't already have data sets to create their new data sets or refine the ones they have, thus make model evaluation a lot simpler. You might be familiar with this interface I'm in right now, it's Databricks, and that is of course Databricks that we also partnered with around this. So today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Databricks data set to the super NP platform uh, to get people in and start doing things such as refining the data set or filtering out any bad data and so on. What I've done here is I have imported the Rotten Tomatoes uh, data set from Hugging Face. I've taken just the kind of the test split here uh, as well to make it smaller. Then down here, because this data set, uh, when it's raw, it only kind of has the text after review, and it has a sentiment that is a one or a zero. In order to make this a bit more human friendly, I've gone ahead and I've created a new text labeled TXT column here that is positive or negative instead of just a one or a zero. And I've also gone ahead and created a UUID column so I can keep track of all the different reviews. And then go ahead and we create or replace a temp view here because we need to store this in a table in Databricks in order to do it. So from this temporary view, I can jump over to SQL down here and I can create or replace a table Rotten Tomatoes as select star from this review table. It just creates a table that's registered on my Databricks cluster. Just to kind of double check here, if we select star from that Rotten Tomatoes table, what we get here is first our digit label, the text after review, and I scroll to the side here, I get the label TXT, the positive negative, and as well as the UUID column that I've created. So let's go ahead and connect Super Annotate up to our Databricks cluster. Up here in the corner, you can see a button that's new integration. Click on that and then we select Databricks. will take us to this walkthrough. First give the integration name, the server host name, the HTTP path, and the access token. So the integration name, uh, we can write it here. Uh, say Super Annotate Demo. Server host name and HTTP path, those we can find under our cluster in Databricks. So let's go over to cluster details. Okay, here we have our cluster. You'll find that under Compute. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Under Advanced Options, you go and you select JDBC, ODBC. And here you can find your server host name and your HTTP path, as well as a lot of other information. Your access token, you can create by going to your account, User Settings, select Developer, and then Manage Access Tokens. Here you can generate a new token. Here you can copy that and paste it in to the access token window here. So with our integration created here, you can go ahead and check that it works by clicking three buttons and then press check connection and it should pop up here. Yeah, the connection is valid. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk over to the projects, we're gonna create a new project, LLM and Gen AI, let's call this Databricks demo and create this project here. We now have the options of kind of creating a few different templates where we can go ahead and we can create a new form from scratch. What I'm going to do here as this kind of sentiment analysis, I'm going to create a new form from scratch. You have a bunch of different components available here on the side. I'm going to do a quite simple one. I'm going to go ahead and create a text area. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to create a little grid here. Another one, I'm going to put a paragraph and also a radio button. Paragraph text, I'm going to say black it, that negative or negative. And here we can go remove one of these and here we say positive and here we say negative. So what's important now is that we name these IDs something that is sensible because that's what we're going to map to our table later. So here we can say review. Let's also name this one review. And down here we can say the, the sentiment, for example. Now, when we create it there, go ahead and press next. This takes us to a window where we can kind of script more customized behavior, but for now, I'm just going to publish this item. Press publish only. We're going to create this editor interface. So, how do we actually get the data into this interface? We'll press add and then upload items. Here we select our integration, data bricks. Then we go ahead and select star from rotten tomatoes. So we we'll run this query and this will connect to our Databricks cluster. We can go ahead here and select. So the item name, I will select this to be the UUID. The text, I want to put in the review component 
and the label txt field. I want to put in the sentiment component. The UUID and the label, we don't need them within the item. So let's go ahead and press upload here. Now, this will spin for a little bit. It can take a little while to get all the items in. But once that is done, we can go ahead and start annotating. Oh, now we have a bunch of items loaded into Super Annotate from Databricks. So let's open one of these up and actually have a look at what it is we're getting here. So in an item here, we have the review. This one is quite short and odd. And then it's selected here if it is positive or negative. And I can go in and I can easily make adjustments here. Uh, like say that I want to correct this to be a bit longer, a proper sentence, a movie. A dragon, no, that's quarters, positive. Once done, go ahead and save this, or mark this, completed here. So this is how I can interact with it on my own. Now, you, of course, would be interested in probably being able to distribute this to a larger amount of people. So navigating over to the setup tab here, this where you manage the people, you can go here to a group and share it with a group of annotators. Little group here and invite both of these, for example, as annotators. I will share that access to this project with them. And we can now go ahead and actually they can just, when they come into this product, they'll be able to request items. Or if we go over here to the data tab, I can also select this one and I can actually assign this item to a specific person as well. So this is a way for you to easily kind of invite your entire team in and you can have everyone just go through and help you out with this data. And you can then easily send it back to Databricks as well to actually fine tune a model on it. Another thing I want to show in here that it makes this easier is if you go over to this little explore tab here, here you can search through your data set. So say, for example, we want to see all negative reviews. I go in here and I select this review button. And then the idea of this one was sentiments, if you remember, I like to show all the items where that is negative and that will pop those up for you. Click on them here and open them up in the small little window where I can easily go back and forth. You just have a look, I can see who's assigned, I can add them to different subsets and so on or actually open them up in the editor here if I want to do some more work. And yeah, that is pretty much how you can connect Super Annotate to Databricks to get your data set from, you know, those sorts of delta tables into this format where you can easily distribute it to a bunch of people to get adjustments, filtrations, or create entirely new data sets uh, from scratch as well. Thank you very much and I hope you try this out.